Hello everyone, this is Lance from Flyfish Food. I want to show you one of my most productive nymphs. Uh, this is a newer nymph. This one I call the Thread Frenchie. Those of you who have seen our new video, Modern Nymphing Elevated, probably heard me talk about it a little bit in the video. And it's kind of a simplified, more durable version of the original Frenchie. So much like the original, it has a uh, slotted tungsten bead on a jig hook. In this case, I've got a 2.3 millimeter bead and Hannock 400 size 16 jig hook. That's my go-to jig for sure. Um, then we're going to use UTC 70 denier thread and olive for this fly. Now this bug has become a staple for me while I'm guiding. Uh, it sinks like a rock. It is really durable and the fish like it. So I think you'll see how easy it is to tie kind of the epitome of a guide fly. So let's get right to it. I'm going to start the thread just behind the bead and uh, get rid of the so the tag end here, then I'll work it down towards the bend. Now, sometimes on these, I tie these really short. In fact, I oftentimes have my clients during the day that want to see the fly because it's catching so many fish. They wonder what fly they need to tie when they get home and they look at it. And uh, sometimes I tie these maybe three quarter length of the shank so that on a 16 hook, for instance, it will look more like an 18 fly, if that makes any sense. So sometimes I don't use the whole shank and I sometimes get my clients that, uh, kind of scoff and look at me funny like I don't really know how to tie flies, which I'm definitely still learning, but uh, but I do that on purpose. So anyhow, I'm going to do the same thing here. I won't quite use the entire shank. Um, we'll just get most of it. So I tied in a little Coque de Leon, just like the original Frenchie, a little bit of uh, medium or dark pardo, either one of those will work just fine. <laughs> Next, we're going to use some Sculpin Olive UTC wire in Brassy. Now you could adjust the size of this. If you're making these bigger, you might do it in a thicker wire, uh, smaller, a lot smaller anyway. In 18, I'd still use Brassy, but if you're doing them in 20s or 22s, I would probably use the small size wire. But this Sculpin Olive stuff is a really cool color. If you haven't got that yet, I highly recommend it. It's on our website. Uh, you'll also see the link to it in the materials list for this fly. So I'm going to take this brassy wire and I like to catch it just in the slot of the bead to kind of hold it in place. And then I wrap it straight down the back of the fly. So I'm just tying it in place and uh, going all the way down towards the tail. Then I'm going to carefully wrap back up the fly with the tying thread, just kind of covering, making a nice clean base. Okay. Next, we're going to take the wire and wrap it around. And usually I take about four or five wraps. I want them spaced out. You don't want them touching wraps like you would on a Copper John. I want to have some segmentation there. So do a few wraps with the wire, catch it with the thread just behind the bead, a couple of thread wraps to hold it in place. I just put lotion on it's for those of you that uh, can see my fingers. They're still disgusting, but uh, I can't hold on to the wire. It makes it hard. <laughs> Anyhow, I wiggle the wire back and forth and uh, get rid of it. You could cut it, but cutting it leaves a little burr. So I like to just break it off by wiggling it back and forth. Okay, next up, we're going to use a little bit of UV resin. This is Loon Flow. There we go. And this, I don't want very much of it. You don't want enough flow that it, uh, you don't want it to coat the body like a peritagone. You want it to just barely be on there so I can still see the segmentation. Um, in the fly. So that's too much. When I opened my bottle, it must have had a little pressure in the warm truck or something. But one of the neat things about UV is it doesn't set up and it doesn't stick to your fingers. So I can take most of that off by just touching with my finger. Now you can see that it still has the segmentation of the wire, but it's coated. So it's going to hold the wire in place. And I'm going to take my handy infinity light, which sets this stuff up really quick. Zap it for just a few seconds. I like to turn the vise a little bit. The Renzetti is really nice for that. You can get to all sides. Then once you've zapped it with the uh, UV light, now it's set. And notice you can see the segmentation in there, but the wire will be set in place. So if you've ever tied a zebra midge or something and you go to take it out of a fish and the wire slides off the, the thread, this will keep it from doing that. Okay, the last step is to add a little hot spot. You, you know it's a French E, as I mentioned, so it's... Uh, it's going to have a little hot spot. This is ice dub and UV pink. Again, you could do this in shrimp pink or lots of other colors, chartreuse, orange, any color you like. And with all the hot spots, less is more. Uh, I have lots of folks that come into the shop and ask me to look at their flies and they want to know how they're doing on their Frenchies. And there are some that are really good, but most of the time when there's a little bit of room for improvement, the body's too thick 
and the uh, the hot spot uses too much dubbing. So I've got just the tiniest pinch of dubbing on here. I want to just create a tiny little hot spot. And another trick is I like to actually take the thread through the hot spot after I've got it in place. So it doesn't look as neat, especially on the macro lens. It won't look super clean, but if you put a, a thread wrap or two through the hot spot, it will really make it more durable. And then the last step is just to whip finish it. We'll get rid of the thread, give it a quick pull. If you're really fussy, you can go in and trim some of these loose pieces of hot spot material, but the fish won't care. It'll just get chewed up a bit when you're done anyway. So that's it, the Thread Frenchie. Super, super simple, really, really durable fly. Sinks like a rock. You can tie them in different bead sizes. As I mentioned, this is a 2.3 millimeter. I also tie them in a 2.8 quite frequently with the same size hook. Uh, give that one a whirl. I'm getting messages all across the country saying this one is knocking the fish dead in all their local waters. The Thread Frenchie.